Okay, all right. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Streaming Idiots. I'm Tom Sinclair. This is not live. This is recorded. And uh, we had problems with our, our regular show on January 4th, um, combination of, of problems. So what we thought was that the content of that show was so important that we wanted to get it back out in a video that didn't have a bunch of problems with it. So we're going to start the show as if we had the regular show, except this is not going to be live. Uh, so my apologies to those of you that tuned in for this one live. Um, we're just, it's just not live this time. But it's still going to be fun. Um, so, with no further ado, let's, uh, let's fade to black and we'll get on with the show. Hey, hey, I'm Tom Sinclair, and this is Streaming Idiots. We are recording this show, not live. We were recording it on Friday, January 6th, because we had some, um, we had some problems with the live version on January 4th. Um, so we took that down because it was only a part of the show, and, and the, uh, what happened was the Internet just went south. And not only did the Internet went south, but the, <laughs> the show host went south, because I love my little X key controller here, and I made the mistake of making this one button that's closest to my finger be the one that stops the recording. So you know what happened halfway through the live broadcast. Uh, the internet went south, and I stopped the recording, so i got to stay away from that button. Um, anyway, I love the X keys, and we're, we're carrying those that are in our store at easternshoreBroadcasting.com. The subject for today's show is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, can't, I can't wait to, to get into it. Uh, let's see if we can get it queued up here. Yeah, there we go. And the, the subject of today's show is to how to add a guest um, in Zoom, using Zoom in vMix. And, and there have been a lot of questions about that. The, uh, we'll, we'll go over the, the video part, the, the audio part, and the vMix part um, here in, in just a second. But before we do, I want to welcome and thank you, uh, those of you that have subscribed to our Facebook page since the last time we, since, since last week's show. There's, there's March Hertz, uh, Daniel, Jas, Jasek, uh, Ricky, Ron, Eric, Mr. David Sams, 51, um, Shaquille Music, Dennis, Howard, Marta, Arlie, and Ted, thank you so much. I'm, I'm always honored when folks take the time to subscribe. And, uh, you know, that says you're interested in what we're doing. The, the benefits of subscribing are, number one, it's on your list so you can go back and see what we've got going, and it'll be easier for you to find on your YouTube page. But the other benefit is when we go live, you'll get an email notice that we've gone live, and when we upload a video, you'll get a notice that we've uploaded a video. So you, you kind of get, at, at least you, you could ignore us if you want to. Um, but thank you for, for subscribing. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, you know, click that little subscribe button. And I promise uh, all you'll get is, is an email from us. We won't, we won't bother you other than that. Um, the other is that we, ha we are adding this week to our, our website, again, eastershorebroadcasting.com. We're adding the, uh, the vMix reference system, the Emerald system, to our, our, our lineup. So if, you're, if you've been thinking about a custom PC, because we do the custom PCs, and you go, I don't know that you know, we want to do custom. Uh, if you want an off-the-shelf PC that was built specifically for vMix, you can get those there. And, um, and certainly if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email, tom at easternshorebroadcasting.com. The, um, the other thing, <coughs> excuse me, the other thing coming up soon is our new offering, the live stream, live streaming rookies will, will be a new offering here in January, and it will be intended for folks that are just getting started in the streaming world. It'll sort of be a community, a closed-in community, that is, you have to join and the benefits of being in the community is you've got all the other members of the community. We'll also have mentors and coaches available for you there. Uh, we'll have a tremendous number of amount of resources, written resources as well as video tutorials. Um, there'll be a, a knowledge base 
and a, a buyer's club. So there'll be a lots of different things that you'll have access to in the live streaming rookies. Plus, my favorite part, of course, is that we'll be doing a separate broadcast for the live streaming rookies every week. So you can tune into that either live or recorded after the fact. Okay, so today's the subtitle of today's show is is how to do <laughs> how to how to do Zoom a Zoom guest my way. Uh, there are lots of different ways to do it, and this is the way I do it, and there, there probably are easier ways to do it. But, you know, it's kind of like going to the grocery store. Once you find the, the, the same path, you take that path. Once you find the path you like, you take that same path each time. And that's what this has become for me. So adding, adding a Zoom guest in vMix on the same PC, the video part, piece of cake. You know, two steps and you're done. The audio part is not quite as easy. That's the thing that people tend to get snagged up on. And one of the reasons why is because you generally need some helper software in the audio part. Um, let's go through the list of what you need. Number one, you need a PC and you need vMix. vMix 18, uh, you can get that at vMix.com. The second is you need Zoom. Uh, you can get a free license to Zoom at zoom.us. You can get a paid license. I think the paid license is $9 a month. The difference is if you have more than one guest um, with the paid license, you can Zoom and have them in the guest forever. With the free license, I think you're limited to 30 or 40 minutes. So you may want to keep an eye on that if you've got a longer talk show. The other things you'll need will be some, some virtual software cables. And you think, how can you have a software cable? Well, in, inside the computer, you're going to have to hook some different, you're going to have to hook Zoom and vMix up together audio-wise. And it's kind of like, you know, if you've, <laughs> if you've got a speaker and a microphone, they don't plug into each other. And so these audio cables will allow us to plug into that. And, and you can get them at virtual audio cables. Uh, and there's the URL for that. That's $25, and that will get you up to 16 cables. And then there's the one from VB um, audio, audio Virtual Cable that is uh, donationware. So you make a donation, and you get two cables, cables A and cable B. In this example, we're going to be using the virtual audio cables, and those are, those are named, I think, VAC Line 1 and VAC Line 2. Um, so part two. We're already into part two. We're just screaming through. Part two is the, the, audio, the video part and then the audio part. So we'll do video first. In vMix, this is pretty simple. Go to, uh, uh, you, you basically just want to do a desktop capture. It's not, not anything fancy. Uh, and that's going to allow you to capture your guests' video and put them up here or wherever you want to put them, side by side, wherever. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, and you also want to turn on the external button in vMix. So whatever the show is, that's available going back to the guest. So the guest is not going to see you, and they're not going to see themselves. They're going to see the show so that they'll know what's going on. If you're showing a video or if you've got some text like this, they'll be able to, to see the video or read the text. And, and so that's how we'll do that. Uh, in Zoom, it's really pretty simple. The camera becomes the vMix output. And it, it, in Zoom, it will literally say vMix video. And so that's only if you've got the, audio, the external button clicked in, in vMix. Well, actually, it'll say vMix video either way. You just won't see an image if you don't have the external button clicked. In fact, what you'll see if you don't have the external button clicked is you'll see, see the color bars. So if you get color bars, you'll say, ah, I forgot to turn on the external. How many times have I done that? A bunch. Um, the audio part, here's where it's a little tricky. And so I'll go through this slowly. You may want to make some notes. You may want to come back and, and read this again. Uh, and remember, we're, we're using virtual audio cables in this example, um, and we'll have two of them, VAC Line 1 and VAC Line 2, kind of like Thing 1 and Thing 2 in Dr. Seuss. Um, so in vMix, go to Settings, go to Audio Output, and, and this is, again, this is the way Tom does it. And in A, you want to select your speakers or your headphones. Now, some people do that differently. They'll use the headphones part 
and put headphones or speakers in there. So if you do that that way normally, then just sort of make the make the uh, the jump here and and use what we're about to say about A as what you would normally do. And that is right now I want the A bus to go into my ear. So whatever's on the A bus, I want to be able to hear that. The B bus is going to be VAC line 2, and I'll get to exactly where that plugs in in just a second. So A bus goes into my ear, that is the output from vMix on bus A goes here. The output on vMix bus B goes to VAC line 2. Line two. Um, the, uh, the next thing you want to do is we want to add an input. So go to input in vMix, scroll down to audio input, and then select from the list of, of available audio inputs VAC line 1. So VAC line 1 is now coming into vMix as an input. That is, it's going to be what vMix recognizes as a microphone. Microphone or, or an input. In Zoom, go to Settings and go to the Audio Settings and set your speaker for VAC line 1 that is the speaker that which the the your guests audio output will be the speaker and that's going to be VAC line 1 and right now you remember we just we just just a second ago we hooked up VAC line 1 as an input in vMix so we're sending it out of zoom over VAC line 1 into vMix as VAC line 1. So the speaker in Zoom becomes the microphone in vMix. Also in Zoom, we want to set the mic, that is, what the guest hears, our audio, our microphone, will be set to VAC line 2. So the, so the guest is going to hear whatever comes across VAC line 2 is what the guest will hear. Remember we sign, assigned that to our vMix Audio B bus. So anything that goes on vMix Audio B, the guest is going to hear. You with me so far? Raise your hand if you're not. Okay, good. <laughs> now there, there are three main buses in vMix. There's the M bus, which is the master bus. That's what your audience hears. That's what gets streamed. That's what gets recorded. That's the master bus. Everything goes to the master if the little M button is illuminated. The A button, that's your speakers or headphones, or if you want to use the little headphone one for that, that's okay, I won't tell. And then the B is the output to Zoom. Now you can tell here, I've made a copy of what my inputs look like. Um, this one right here is coming from Zoom. So this is the A, excuse me, check that. Let's go back and see. This is coming from Zoom. It is the speaker, so it's going to be VIC line one. VAC line one is going to be this one right here. Now I've got A, I've got the M illuminated because I'm sending it to the stream and I'm, I'm recording it. I have the A illuminated because I want to hear it. I want to hear what the guests are saying. Notice I don't have the B illuminated because I don't want the guests to hear themselves. Um, and then I've got the speaker icon on, which means that it's turned on so everybody can hear it. Um, this is this is my microphone in vMix, and I want you to hear it, so the M is, is illuminated. And then I want the guest to hear it, so B is illuminated. But I don't want to hear it, so I haven't done the A. And then again, that's turned on. And again, you may have to come back and watch this a time or two to get the hang of it, but that's what mine looks like. No problem, right? <laughs> okay. Well, again, you can scroll back in, in YouTube and, and watch this again to get it. All right, let's go on to part three. This is the fun part. This is the side-by-side -side part. This is Tom's way. Again, Tom's way. Tom's way says, find a frame. Go out on the Internet and just Google frame. And you will get all sorts of frames. You'll get frilly frames. You'll get plain frames. You'll even get eyeglass frames. And you can use, maybe not the eyeglass frames, but you can use the other frames to build your virtual set. Now for me, I would take a frame kind of like this one right here, and then I would duplicate it. And so I would end up with two frames side by side. 
and this is going to be I'm, I'm going to use, uh, I think Paint Shop Pro is what I use for this, but you can use Photoshop or any, any uh, graphic editing tool will do this. Uh, you want to make your canvas or your size the same size that you're streaming. So in this case, it's 1920 by 1080. And that's going to be the canvas that I worked with on these. And I basically just made a copy of the frame and then very carefully lined it up so that they were you know, side by side and had the same height, the same width. And, and we're centered. And as you can see, there's not much in that picture that's not the frame. Um, I like to have big faces. So if we're, you know, if we're going to have faces here, if we're going to have heads here, they're going to fill up most of the frame. That's my hope, because you don't want to look at a bunch of background or a bunch of graphics. Um, then I'm going to take that, that uh, and by the way, it's a PNG file, so it's going to have a transparent background. And I'm going to take that same PNG file now that I've got it created and saved, and I'm going to add my name to it, and I'm going to add my guest name to it, and I'm going to add my title and my guest title. So here's an example of the show I did with, with Martin Sinclair. Um, and, and let's see, let's, let's bring that up. You can see there it is. There's the, there's the frame. There's the graphics um, or the text underneath. Um, and... It can't get any easier than that, at least at least I don't think so. Um, so the next element, now that I've got this PNG file made, and I, and I do a fresh file with each guest, because obviously the guest's name is going to change, although sometimes I do forget to change it, and the guest says, uh, I'm not Martin Sinclair. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. We'll, we'll, we'll catch you up. Um, after you do this, you'll want to be able to use it in vMix. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to add a video background, but we're really not adding a video background. That's, that, that's a misnomer right there. We're going, to, we're going to start with a video background. And in this case, this is a video background that my friend Paul Richards at PTZ Optics sent to me, something that he built for me. And let me show you what it looks like when it's actually moving. Um, this is what it does. It's just a little bit of movement in the background just to keep a little bit of interest. And so I will use that, that input that is that MP4, I'll use that to build everything else on. So I will take the MP4 and I will, I will add on top of it my frame that includes my pictures. And of course, the, it also has my text in it. Um, and then using the multi-view in vMix, I'll add number one will be my image, number two will be my guest's image, um, and I don't think there's a, oh, yeah, and then number three will be the frame that'll, that'll fold in on top of that. And then I'll have to crop my guest's image and crop my own image. You can see that I've got kind of a placeholder right here set for my Zoom guest. I can't capture their image until they're in it. Um, so I can start Zoom, but I really can't capture anything with them until um, till the time comes that they're live. Now, I will say just a few words about having a, a guest is, number one, make sure they're not sitting in front of a window. Um, how many times have I told the guest, I ah, know you can't sit in front of a window because all I get is, 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 is a shadow in your face. Um, and a lot of people like to put a lot of lights on, and I'm saying, you know, if you wear glasses like I do, you can see I got my lights out to the side um, but when I'm facing forward, for the most part, I don't have a lot of glare there, so place the, place the lights out. Um, if, if they have a green screen, that'll be a whole other conversation we'll talk about them. But they need, to have, they need to be well lit, and as a general rule, there needs to be very little space between the top of their head and the, to and the, and the very top of the, the, the camera frame. Um, because you're going to take this wide shot right here, and you're going to crop it right here. So anything that's out here really doesn't matter as you can see it in that picture right there. I'm not, I'm not very well on center, um, but you can see there's, there's not very, if, if I were on center and if I were sitting up straight, um, I would take up the, the bulk of the frame. And I think that's what you want. You don't want a lot of headroom up here because it doesn't do anything for you. Uh, let's see, let's go on to the next one there. And then the finished product is going to look something like that. Um, as you can see that Gerald and I, this was late in the show, we're both kind of slouching down a little bit. We could be, could be up a little straighter. Um, but it makes for a really interesting look, and you can see that the, the, the video is going to be um, 
the MP4 right in here is going to be moving a little bit and so it will add some visual interest to the show and it, and it makes a pretty good frame. It, uh, it's easy, it's cheap, um, it, it, <laughs> it's not something that's going to be that hard to do to get the graphics right. The most difficult part is the audio part and that's because you have to, you have to link the speaker in Zoom to the mic in vMix and the mic in Zoom to essentially the, the audio output in, in vMix. And that's, that's where it gets a little tricky. But if you'll take it one step at a time and go through and, and, you know, like I did, if you have to, just make a little chart. And the chart just basically says that connects to that, that connects to that, that connects to that. And then I've got my, remember, B goes to the guest, A goes to my ears, M goes to the audience. And once you've got your plan down like that, it'll help you if you have to troubleshoot. Um, you certainly don't want to try to put all this together in five minutes before a show. Go ahead and test it out a day or so in advance. Get your mom to give you a call over Zoom. You can even get Zoom on your phone. Um, in fact, you can use Zoom on your phone to call yourself and, and get it set up so you make sure you, you, you can hear correctly, although it is easier if you have a third party, you don't have a, a lot of feedback. Next week, we'll talk about this very same process except adding Zoom from a second PC. You know, you say, why would you want to do that, Tom? Well, if today today's setup, I've got my regular production PC, and that's doing all all of the production of the show, and then if I had a guest, they would be on this PC as well. And I'm using my laptop over here to, uh, to stream and record. If I had a second, or if, if I had a, a, if I was gonna use a second PC, um, like if I was gonna use this laptop, I'd have to bring the audio in to the first PC, and that's where it gets a little different. Um, and difficult sometimes. The, the idea of using a second PC for me was most effective when I'm using a second PC and a third PC. That is, I've got two different guests coming in with two different instances of Zoom. And, and frankly, every time I've said Zoom, you can use Skype if you prefer. I just happen to have better, better video with Zoom than I do with, excuse me, yeah, with Zoom than I do with Skype as a, as for the most part. Um, if you use two separate instances, one on the second PC and one on the third PC, then you're going to get a single, a single um, image of video from each one. If you try to use Zoom or Skype on the same PC um, with one instance of Skype or one instance of Zoom, what you're going to get is two guests side by side. And if, if one guest shows up late, uh, then you're just going to get the one big guest. And if you're doing a capture, Again, you're capturing. All of a sudden, if you get a capture, you're now going to get a window that's half of this and half of that. Um, and so you're going to have to capture each one of those windows as a separate capture and then bring them into your, into your vMix production that way. And if one of them happens to drop off in the middle of the show because his internet connection is calling or because his wife is calling, um, then you're going to have to reorganize your frame. So it's much easier and certainly much more professional not to have to do that. I have some, some clients that I'm working with that uh, I'm, I'm not on the show. It's just, it's just them. There's a host and a guest. And so we want the host and the guest to appear as their own image, have their own audio, and, and allow me to control all of that here on, on my end. And it actually it works out really, really well. We might do a show on that at some point in the future. But coming up next week, we'll be talking about how to do this from a second PC. If you've got a lot going on on your main PC and you need to bring it in from a second PC, you can use NDI from that. and That'll be the beauty of it. You don't have to connect a cable anywhere. It's, in fact, you don't even have to con connect a cable for audio. It, it'll be really fun. We'll talk about that more. Hope you got that. If not, <laughs> go back to the beginning and, and listen to it again. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, tom at eastershorebroadcasting.com, or you can leave a comment below. I'll respond to that. If I'm wrong, by all means, straighten me out because I don't want to be pitching information that's not correct. Um, and there, and there obviously, there's always more than one way to do something. There's, there's the right way, and there's the best way, and, and then sometimes there's Tom's way. But I hope this has been helpful to you. And I'm going to um, 
get it uploaded here to YouTube momentarily. Again, please subscribe. If I can help you in any way, let me know. If you're interested in purchasing vMix or up, upgrading vMix or upgrading from you know, one version of vMix to, to the new version going from HD to 4K or something like that, I'd be happy to help you with that. Plus, we also represent Magil Capture Cards, PTZ Optics Cameras, and the wonderful X-Keys USB controllers. I'm Tom Sinclair. It's been a treat to be with you today, and I look forward to seeing you again on another Streaming Idiots coming up real soon. Take care.